And finally, we will conclude the webinar with how to share calendars what you have created to other project managers uh, through MS Project 2010. So when we talk about calendars, generally we say it talks about months, weeks, days, and holidays. So, but when we talk about Microsoft Project, we also add another parameter associated, which is also the working time. So when we say calendars, it is very, very important because it determines the working time of your activities and the resources. Because based on the working time that uh, of the resources and the activities only, the task start date and the task finish date is ideally calculated. So when we talk about Microsoft Project, we don't talk about uh, the, uh, the monthly calendar or the yearly calendar. Rather, we use four types of calendars within Project 2010. Those types are, the first one is called as the base calendar, the second one is called as the project calendar, and the third one is called as the resource calendar, and the fourth one is called as the task calendar. So just remember these four calendars whenever you talk about ca calendars in project 2010, and please ensure that the calendars are uh, remembered in the same order what is shown on the slides. Because project internally uses the sequence in order to schedule your activities within your project 2010. So let's try to simplify calendars in project 2010 first. So on your slide, you are able to see I've used a term called a project calendar, and I've said something called a standard. When I say standard, right? Standard is one of the calendars provided by project 2010. Um, the standard calendar assumes that the working time is 8 to 12, 1 to 5. And any timing that is outside 8 to 5 is assumed to be a non-working time. So when we try to tie this standard calendar as the project calendar, so when you say project calendar, uh, project will assume that this is the standard or the default working time for your activities. So when I try to connect my standard calendar as the project calendar, and I, when I schedule an activity in my project, so it will assume this order. So I really uh, a 16 hours of work will be ideally completed in two days. Because I said at a project level, the standard calendar is my project calendar. So this will be my default calendar for scheduling this activity. So let's have a quick demo of it, how it works. So I'm just going to go back to my project 2010. So I have not created any activities. So if you look at uh, the ribbon called project, you would be able to find there is a button called change working time. So when you hit a change working time, you would be able to see there are three calendars listed here. One called standard, one called night shift, one called 24 hours. So if you look at the standard calendar, it gives you more on a monthly format. And you can see the working time is 8 to 12, 1 to 5. Okay? Whereas if you look at your night shift calendar, it is ideally, um, I can say, it is from, I can say, from Monday it is 11 p.m. to 12, and uh, the next day it is 12 to 3, 4 to 8. So as you can see, it's more a night shift based calendar. But when I look at the 24 hours calendar, you can see there are no days as holidays. Every day is a working day. So as you can see, there are three calendars that are generally provided, one called standard, one called night shift, one called 24 hours. Now let me cancel this, and uh, I'm just going, it's going to be my project calendar. So the first step I'm going to do is I'm just going to go to the project information. And this is the option which you need to first set. You will be able to uh, see there, uh, there is uh, two fields called start date and finish date. The start date here represents the start date of your project. And the finish date will be disabled because we are going for a forward scheduling, which means the start date is centered entered, whereas the finish date is going to be calculated by project 2010. For example, if I say this uh, project is going to start from 18th of September, okay, and I'm just going to say it starts at 8 a.m., and uh, the finish date is going to be dynamically calculated in this case. The second field which you need to focus here is this calendar. So as you can see, this calendar comes under project, which means this stands for the project calendar. I said my project calendar is going to be standard. Okay, and I'm just going to say OK in this case. Now, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to type in a task name here. Let's say uh, prepare a document. I'm going to say this activity is taking five days to complete. And I'm going to have another activity called review 
approved document and uh, this is also going to take five days to complete and I'm going to say the predecessor is one. So as you can see, the moment I set my relation, automatically calculated. So you might wonder how did projects pick these dates from. So the first activity in your project, ideally assume that this activity should start on your project start date, so which is ideally 18th of September, 8 a.m. So you might wonder how is the finish date of this uh, uh, project calculated, right? So for to understand this much better, I suggest that on your task ribbon, you can find there is a button called inspect, right? So when I say inspect, it will try to help you to understand what are the different factors that uh, decides the start date of the task what I have selected on my screen. So let me click on inspect. Now if you look at the prepared document, it is listed on your left hand side as prepared document. It also tells you what are the factors that is affecting this task. So please take some time to go through the spec. Okay, good. So I hope you are able to see the start date and the finish date is calculated with respect to your project start date here. Now let me click on, on review. So if you look at review document, it says factors affecting this, the predecessor activity because the predecessor should finish for the next activity to start. And also you are able to see the calendar that is used for scheduling your review is your project calendar that is standard. So I'm just going to go ahead and make another change now. I'm going to say on my project information that uh, all my activities should not start as per my standard calendar which is 8 to 2. Five. Instead, I just wanted to start as per my night shift calendar. So let me say okay. Now I hope you're able to see the timing automatically changes. It is 11 p.m. to 8 a.m. and 11 p.m. to 8 a.m. and you are able to see on your task inspector the project calendar is ideally used for uh, scheduling your activities by default. So coming back to our slide, as you can see, the project calendar is the default calendar for scheduling your activities in your project. But remember, uh, project calendars is good for a high level planning. But when you get into the details, naturally you might want to assign a resource to the individual task. Remember, each resource will work uh, as per different calendars. One resource will work as per standard, another resource will work as per night shift, or another resource will work as per different um, uh, in different cities and different countries, right? So in the second scenario, what I'm going to demonstrate is, let's say you have said that the project calendar is standard. So when I say standard, we are trying to assume that all my activities by default should work as per the standard calendar. But I'm saying my resource is working only during the morning shift, which means it works only during 8 to 12, and 1 to 5 is not ideally working. So I'm just going to go back to my project, so I'm just going to type in a, a, a key in a resource into my project. So the way to do it is on my resource tab, you can find that there is a button called Team Planner. So I'm just going to select Team Planner and you can see there is a view called Resource Sheet. So I'm just going to type in a name of resource. Let's say this is the name of the resource I'm trying to type. And I want to say this resource is working only four hours per day in the company. Okay. So the way I'm going to do it is I'm just going to click on that resource and I'm going to go to the project ribbon and I'm going to say change working time. So now you are able to find I'm not I'm more looking at the resource calendar of size. Right? Currently the resource is assumed to work as per night shift. I'm just going to say is working as per standard calendar maybe and I'm just going to say from Monday to Friday his working time is not 8 to 12, 1 to 5, rather he works only 8 to 12 with respect to the company. So the way to do it is, I'm just going to go to the work weeks, okay? So you can see um, this uh, working time is based on the default work week. So I'm going to go to the work weeks tab and uh, I'm just going to configure the working time here. So as you can see, uh, the weekdays that are listed as labels here are listed as row labels. So I'm just going to say Monday to Friday. This resource 
will work on specific working time, which is 8 to 12 only. Okay. The moment I say, okay, you are able to find that now this resource I is working only 8 to 12 with respect to the company. But overall, if you look at it, you would like to uh, you like this uh, task to be scheduled as per 8 to 12 and 1 to 5. Okay, now we have changed our calendar. Now let me go back to my GAN chat and I'm just going to assign that resource to this particular task. Okay, let me bring my task inspector. I hope you are now able to find this activity is scheduled as per your project start date. And for the next one, if I'm just going to say, Sai, you are able to find for the second uh, task, a review document, the calendar is ideally used. So whenever you have a project calendar that will be used only for tasks that does not have any resource. But once you have assigned the resource to a particular task, the resource calendar will ideally be used for scheduling that particular activity. So coming back to our slide, I said at a project level I am using a standard which is 8 to 5. But the resource is available only from 8 to 12. So the project will try to um, schedule the task to that resource such that the 16 hours of work is now completed in 4 days. Okay, Because as per the resource calendar is available only from uh, 4 days, 4 hours every day in terms of this calendar.